Hello, today what I'm going to be cooking is just a very simple little fish dish and using sea bass. Any fish will do at all with this. I'm going to use it with some grapes, some greens. Again, any grapes or greens will do. Um, I'm going to use some fine beans, asparagus myself, but that could just as easily be a bit of pak choy, some broccoli. It's what you have. Um, also, what I've got is some nice ginger, which I'm going to just use as a flavoring, and corn on the cob. This is the kind of pre-blanched corn on the cob. You could use fresh. Even you could use tinned corn, I suppose, if that's all you could get. But with the corn on the cob, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut the corn off the cob, just in kind of nice strips, because they look kind of good like that. And I'm going to finish with a little bit of olive oil and uh, season with some rice wine vinegar. That's just going to bring a lovely kind of mellow acid into the dish, because just to kind of counterbalance the sweetness of the grapes. Just about a tablespoon, if that is all you need. And with the grapes, interesting ingredient, great within an anti-inflammatory diet, great for arthritis, because grapes, they're packed with minerals, they're packed with flavonoids, they're packed with vitamins, they're, they're just a very good whole fruit. They're, 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 okay, they have a bit of sugar content, which we're going to use the wine to balance off, but they're great with fish. And just underneath the skin, in particular dark colored grapes, the black or the red grapes, you have rosvatatol, oh, how do you pronounce it? Rosveratol, which is a potent uh, antioxidant and phytochemical, which is being shown to be very anti-inflammatory and a great addition to a diet. So I would say with grapes, don't hesitate using them. Great snack food. Go for the nice red grapes, the dark grapes, that's where a lot, there's a lot of, and also there's a lot of tannin in them, which are a very good antioxidant as well. Great addition to a diet, great for fish cookery as well. So I'm going to get on and cook this dish now. thing with this dish is I'm going to add my vegetables into a pan. Along with my corn. And just underneath my vegetables, I'm going to add my ginger. Pan is dry because I want to use a steaming technique here. So I'm just going to add a small drop, about four tablespoons of water. And then I'm just going to add a little pinch of salt. A little bit of pepper. And then onto those vegetables. I'm going to add my fish. Just rest them atop. Finally onto that, I'm going to add my grapes. And I am going to now just very, very simply go to cover this dish and allow it to steam for a few minutes. Now, if your pan gets a little bit dry, just add a little bit more water. As you can see, my pan has just gone a little bit dry after about two or three minutes. And I'm just going to add about a quarter cup of water and just continue allowing it to steam. So after about a few minutes, say about five to seven minutes, you'll find your fish is just starting to flake apart and just cooking nicely as are the rest of your vegetables. At this stage, I'm just going to put a nice drizzle about a tablespoonful of my rice wine vinegar. I'm going to put a nice little uh, drizzle of olive oil into the dish. It's going to create a kind of a sauce and a dressing. And that is actually how simple this dish is. Just to finish, I'm just going to add a little pop more salt on that. And then you have this lovely, I suppose braising would be a good way of describing this dish. With your dressing, your vegetables, your fish, everything done and dusted. Let's keep it simple these days. And then to finish this dish, you just need to plate it up. So I'm just going to get a nice little plate. And onto my plate, I'm just going to very simply spoon on my vegetables first. All about simplicity is keeping everything nice and accessible. And then I'm going to just take my fish fillets, pop that there. 
Then I can just take a little bit of my corn, my veg, and just drape it all over on top. Then my grapes, and just dress up the whole dish. And it's really that simple to cook a very simple, tasty, anti-inflammatory fish dish. Then some of the uh, cooking liquid, we'll just drizzle over the top. Which is packed with that lovely ginger. And that's it. Our fish with grapes, lovely dr ginger dressing, corn and greens. Enjoy it. <laughs>